I can. What's going on, buddy? Welcome to the uh to the Mass Care Normal Freedom Rally 2014! Where the fuck were you? Oh wait, I'm here. Where were you? Oh, you're here too. If you're not here, you're missing out. Big time. See that guy too. He's here, but you're not here. Where are you? Oh, you're over there? You back? No, you're there? All right, well, we have to save this and do this next year. And then the year after. Because you know what? It seems to make a difference, doesn't it? Should people get together for a good reason? I can't believe it. It actually works. It works? That works? Don't let the pigs lie. Don't let the pigs lie to you. Anthony and Jonathan Mahan, and uh, I'm just here to celebrate and, uh, you know, try to try to change policies and try to spread the word of medical marijuana and its many uses. And you're in a chair. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're showing up at the rally yeah. in a wheelchair. What, what are you in a wheelchair for? Well, I have uh, cerebral palsy and I've had several uh, medical uh, procedures and, you know, with that comes a lot of pain and, uh, you know, I don't really like taking uh, pharmaceutical drugs and, uh, you know, Weed helps. It helps with my inflammation, it helps with my spasticity, it helps with sleep, it helps with appetite. If I'm not doing too well, if I got a headache, and uh, you know, I'm farsighted, so when I don't have my glasses, my eyes hurt, weed helps with that. I mean, it's kind of stupid. It's, a, it's natural, it comes from the ground. And yeah, there's this big debate, and we should just be able to use it anyway, because, you know, it's, it's kind of common sense. So, you know, I just hope people, you know, wake up at some point and realize what's right is right, and, you know, nobody's hurting anybody, so what's the problem? So would you say, I, I'm going up to speak later, I'm going to say weed is good, because I got a medical condition. Do you agree with that, weed is good? Weed is definitely good, my brother. It made my life a lot easier, and, you know, I would recommend it to anybody who is suffering. Or, you know, even uh, trying to find themselves at some point, you know, it opens up different perspectives. And that's pretty much it, man. And what do you think about, uh, yeah, have you ever checked out my can on Dick Boston? Did you uh, read any of my shit? Do you know about it? No? No, I mean, this is the first time I've, I've, I've met you, brother. I'm pleased to meet you, and I'm glad we crossed paths. I don't believe in coincidence, so, you know, it may turn into something good. But either way, man, it's let's spread the word and make things happen. Awesome, yeah. awesome, bro. He works for Dick Boston. Uh, I, I've forgotten all this because I'm on mushrooms. That my name is Rob Patillo, and I work for WEMF Radio. Yeah. I'll tell you, 4.5 grams of mushrooms at, at like 12:30 is really a really amazing magic trick. Yeah. Right now, right now, we want to bring up the man, Chris Ferrone. Yeah. He, he's just amazing and like he's so amazing right now that they're lowering him in on a helicopter look above you right now <laughs> that helicopter in the sky no 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 i'm just saying that because we're well i'm looking for chris Vero. where is he he's right here ladies and gentlemen the man who's gonna cure aids through journalism mr chris Ferrone. thank you sir one more Woo! for Rob. come on Hard fucking work. Yeah! Farrell! Yeah. All right, my name is Chris Ferrone. I'm the uh, news and features editor of uh, Dig Boston. Yeah! yeah. The, uh, my social security number is 056 823898. And uh, all right, listen, here's the deal. This is like, um, th I prepared like this big, you know, uh, magnanimous speech. This is more intimate. Come on, a couple people, get in here. I'm gonna provide a, a service for everybody here. Come on, everybody. Come on, I'm here, I'm here. Come on. All right, so here's the deal. We got medical marijuana in Massachusetts, right? It's coming here. Um, I'm a journalist. I've been covering this for years. You have me here. We're gonna do a Q&A session. Anything you wanna know about getting your cards, anything you wanna know about why we don't fucking have dispensaries yet in Massachusetts? Yeah. Can we yeah. some noise about that? I mean, it's yeah. In 2016. Uh, Rob, why don't you get it started? What's up? You got a question for Everybody us? Everybody have a question. Raise Who's got a question? Hand. Come on, we're in school. Get fucking here. You got a question? You got a question? What is your question? How do I get a cut? Very good question. Can we have a round of applause? Yeah! All right, so basically, you know, right now, uh, there are, uh, unfortunately, 
especially for those of us who, uh, you know, if you have health insurance or whatever, your regular doctor, your uh, general practitioner is probably uh, not in a position to give you a card. Although, if they had any balls, they would. Okay? You know what they're telling me? They're telling me that if they work for the, for the state of Massachusetts, they're not going to give me a card. Right. So, there's, so if people do business with the state of Massachusetts, so basically, there are places. Green what? Three minutes. All right, so we're gonna have to get three more questions. So basically, there are places where you can go to get your card. See me afterward, and I'll, and I'll show you exactly where yep. to get a list. Same goes for everything. That's you, that's you. You're gonna have to, um, in the meantime, in the interim before real Team doctors work. or before doctors who work Dream with work. the state are prescribing, um, you're gonna have to go to these uh, uh, third-party. Uh, Mike, what do we? Uh, you will have one that you would like to recommend to the crowd. Can uh, Canamet. Canamet. Or awesome. Canadox or, on yeah. Newbury Street. Newberry Street. All right, one more. Come on, let's get a couple more questions. Who's next? Go for it. This is a question for you. Oh shit! How do I get some shrooms? Ladies and gentlemen, shrooms are very hard to attain in this day and age, but Cambridge, Cambridge Central, find me any Sunday night. I will make it happen to you. We'll get you out of the matrix. Nice. All right, let's get a serious question, man. I mean, that's a serious question, but come on, that could be done off stage. Come on, somebody who wants to know something, anything. How easy will be to get one? All right, so basically in Massachusetts, it looks like, you know, a, a variety of ailments will get you, will help be able to get a car. For me, for, for instance, I get anxiety. I've been smoking for anxiety for years. Uh, that is something um, that I can get a car for. Whereas in other states where it's more uh, restrictive, uh, only really serious, you know, much more serious ailments, physical ailments um, will, will enable you to get a car. But there, you know, people here I know uh, suffer from back pain, things like that. Yeah, chronic, chronic Absolutely. Pain. Listen, chronic I got pain. Especially. Dude. Chronic pain, no question. Where, Good question, though. Uh, how, where over in Massachusetts are you going to open up? Like, uh, you want to know where the dispensaries are going to open in Massachusetts? Anybody else want to know the answer to that? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. All right, so there's supposed to be 20 of them, all right? Now, when I say supposed to be, it's because the people, the, 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 the idiots who work in that big golden dome over there, yeah. all right, and the Department of Public Health over here have it dragged helps. their feet on this, but there's supposed to be 20 across the state by what year, Mike? It's 2014. 14. 14. It's 14, yeah. 14 right? So guess what? It's not going to happen, all right? So now it's looking like uh, hopefully we'll have a couple by 2015. But... Um, <laughs> And then you know there's supposed I could prom I could promise you everything like the state did that there would be more and more you know and then 2016 2017 right now we're trying to get one. Uh, Rumor says that's sale not even mass. Very good. Come on, let's get a couple more in. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, Questions. Hey. Last question. How do what? I help legalize marijuana? You hear that question? That's a good. Question. How do you help legalize marijuana? Yes, that's a perfect question. Smoking. All right, for one, and this is this is this is trite. Cliche, bullshit, but well, you know what? You gotta fucking vote. You gotta get out there. That's how we got this far. Yeah! When I say we, the only reason that, that this is happening, that you know we're on the you know kind of verge of full legalization is because people got up and voted. The legislature, the, the, the idiot uh, uh, legislators and lawmakers who people elect, um, they don't do anything. The people always do it for themselves. They put it on the ballot, all right? So when they do that, you know, you're all lucky, because enough people showed up the last two times uh, for decriminalization and then for medical. But guess what? You know, maybe they're not around anymore. You gotta show up, register to vote, even if you don't vote in the regular elections, register to vote just so when you know when it's yeah, time, yeah. if that's the only thing that matters to you, right. you get up there. So listen, cool. anybody else has any questions, yeah, I'll be around. Read Dig hey, Boston. Man. Thanks a lot. Check out Mass Can. Don't forget about us. We put this on every year and we need your help to legalize marijuana in Massachusetts. Vote for Evan. It'll it'll shake things up in this state. Vote Evan Falchuk for governor. So this uh, this rally here is put on by Mass Can. They do a good job, an amazing job every year. They have uh, volunteers going around with buckets. Please donate to Bay State Repeal, but please donate to Mass Can. Put some money in the bucket today.